That's smart, man. Smart, competitive. Uh, so I'm, I'm enjoying it, man. It's a good group of young men. Uh, they work really hard. Uh, they're eager to learn. And uh, man, they're a real joy to work with. And then you have several guys who can play multiple spots. I guess, how do you kind of figure out which spot's best for them? Yeah, you know, it's going to kind of just depend on them, right? We're throwing guys, throwing a lot of different guys, seeing how much they can handle. Uh, trying to find, you know, who are the top five, six guys, and then we'll put them in the positions that uh, to, to be the most successful. So and that's what we're trying to learn over over spring ball, you know, trying to get them to learn the offense as a whole uh, to give us some flexibility to move guys around. And then, um, you know, as, as they're doing that, we'll figure out what each one of them is good at. And, uh, you know, come game day, we we'll put them in the best position to succeed. And then outside of his speed, what does Chris Mitchell kind of bring to the table? Uh, leadership, man. Yeah, he's done it. You know, he's done it. And you know, he's done it at a very high level, you know, for, for several years now. So him bringing that veteran uh, presence to the room and that leadership and, you know, he's got to lead by example. He's not overly vocal. He's vocal when he needs to be. Um, that's been a real good help for us. Man. With those two guys, like uh, Dion and JT, how do you want to see them kind of step up and say, yeah, those two, man, they've done an outstanding job. Because those are the guys that have been here, right? They've been around. Um, they know what the expectations are. They know, um, you know, how things go around here. And they've done a really, really good job of embracing that role and leading the young guys and um, challenging the young guys. And so I'm very, very happy with, with that from them. But then also, you know, you look at JT. JT's done some things to, to really change his body around. And he's moving a lot better and things like that. And, you know, Dion's done a really good job of just learning and, you know, we challenged him and just moving him around in different spots as well. So uh, both of those guys have been very, very uh, good for us so far in spring ball. Yes, how do you use his speed and also his knowledge since he's been also around the world? Yeah, that's a challenge, right? And, and so I think that's what we're looking to figure out through spring balls, right? You know, what's his role going to be? How big is his role going to be? Um, how, how many different spots can we move him to, right? He's obviously a guy that um, has some dynamic ability, and uh, we got to figure out the best ways to use him and uh, figure out, you know, how many different things he can handle. So um, it, it'll be it'll be a good little project. It'll be fun for us. Coach, is there any specific progression you want to see from Mike and came from uh, spring practice one to the spring game? Yeah, I mean, these guys are supposed to be in high school right now. And so, um, you know, just to see them come in and just learn, 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 right? Learn how to be a college athlete, right? Learning the playbook and then continuing to learn the things that we're teaching them in the receiver world. Um, and then applying those things. And I think both of them have done a really, really good job, right? All high school guys that come in, they start at different levels. You know, some of them ran similar offenses to what we're doing, and some of them it's, you know, it's brand new. And so uh, you try to reel them in and try to get everybody to, to get on the same page, understand the expectations of being a college uh, student, a college athlete, and then, um, you know, just going in and applying it as we will.